Hi, it's Mike again. This week I went to the park every day and the video I'm recording today, I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm just going to voice over what I achieved. So I was trying to do a, a line where I first dropped in or rolled in, sorry, and then ollied up onto this platform, which had a rise on it, and then turn at the top, come back down, and then finally do a rock to fakie. So um, we'll just get straight into just doing some practice here. I just wanted to warm up with a, a drop in, something that I'm able to do, just gives you a good idea when you're skating just to, just to get a good practice, get warmed up. And rolling in is a little bit difficult. You've got to really commit to dropping in uh, on the on the move, um, put a lot of pressure on your front front foot. And here I was just rolling out and then rolling back in. The benefit of doing this is just that you're staying on the board and you're you're carrying on doing something that you started. And here's an attempt. You can see dropping in on the other side of the quarter pipe there. The coping's a little bit higher than on the, the side that I just recorded on. And that's why my back um, wheels keep getting caught. So the roll in's quite good. There you go, those back wheels again. And that's pretty much the roll in, all in. I didn't quite get the turn there. The width of that platform on the right there is quite thin. So coming back rock to fakie, this is certainly the hard part for me because I had never done a rock to fakie. In fact, I didn't know what that move was called before I started this line. Which is coming back fakie that's really, really difficult for somebody who hasn't done it before. Here's just a different angle. The distance between the quarter pipe and just doing that ollie is not a long distance, but it's, it's yeah, it takes a little bit of time to get your feet back into position, ready to ollie up. I did that one quite well. I think I was quite pleased with myself, as you can see. Yeah, the width of that platform there is just a little bit wider than a, my deck, so it was a good challenge to get up there and do the do the turn. And here we are trying that rock to fakie again. And I thought I'd better just practice that last bit a few times because it was, as I said, it's new to me this trick. really got to take it in two so you get up you can hold it and then really just make change your positioning so for me it's looking back on my left arm so turning around I think I was just um, going up and down there to practice coming back down fakie but yeah it's it's really going up locking in balancing on the board and then treating as a completely second trick is coming back down and rolling um, back which I made it there so I tried this a few times so I was really um, really happy about making that it was you know a brand new trick that I'd never done before I was never really into vert skating before I got back into skating here and um, yeah it's really fun so here's my final attempt I was running out of lunch break so I had one more one last uh, crack at it
some stuff up the turn there. The lesson here is just really just going going fast and committing and really giving it a go because if you if you don't have that speed the board doesn't follow you, doesn't stay with you and that's when you can have accidents. Unfortunately when you do have an accident when you're going fast and trying to commit it, it it's a little bit worse but and there we have it my first line completed. So yeah really happy. Cheering. Thanks for watching guys and I'll keep updating my social media. Um, give us a like and a follow and I'll see you next time. Cheers.